And we're out here giving out Wicked No Turkey Roast Crowns and we've got these little revamp your Christmas QR code uh, brochures. I, you kill a chicken, I, I'm eating that chicken for so why am I going to put dead energy in my body? Yeah, because see my daughter, my daughter would kill a human before she'd kill an animal. And that's but she, do, she eats them, so she does kill them. Yeah, well, but what I'm saying, she doesn't kill them. She pays for them to be killed. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I think turkey would have more vitamins. I don't understand what you're saying, we shouldn't be killing turkeys. You know, we but still if that turkey's on the shelf, it's already dead, I didn't kill it. So we're out here getting involved in the spirit of Christmas by giving out no turkey sandwiches. And um, there's nothing more opposed to the spirit of Christmas than what you see on those screens. But sadly, at Christmas time, people tend to eat more animal products, you know, have big animal, have corpses as their centerpiece, you know, poor innocent baby animals. These birds are infants. They're slaughtered between eight and 26 weeks. So it's usually about 16 weeks they're killed, but somewhere, somewhere between that age, it's just, infant animals that have lived in a shed their entire life pecking each other in darkness a lot of the time you know horrible places walking around on their own feces how is this got anything to do with christmas time i don't know so we're hoping that people can make a change maybe this time of the year they feel like giving the animals their lives you know maybe encompassing you know living the compassionate lifestyle walking that compassionate christmas talk let's see if they want to do it this year Hey guys, do you want some food? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are, well, are you vegans? I just love free food. Oh, you love free food? Yeah. Do you know it's vegan food? This is what it is. No turkey roast crown. You get them like, they're like a whole like roast, but there's yeah. no, no turkey killed. So how do you get the turkey? They make it out of uh, plants. So they take the wheat and they take the protein out of the wheat or the protein yeah. out of the peas and they turn it into meat. Okay. So you don't have to stab an animal to death to have a turkey roast. Because yeah. this is uh, Christmas time, a lot of turkeys are tortured and killed around this time of year. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, oh no, it went off. But um, yeah, this is, uh, they forcibly breed them because they can't, they're too big to mate. Yeah. yeah. They keep them in horrible farms, factory farms. Uh, most turkeys are factory farmed over here. So we're trying to get people to eat the plants, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. This here is like a little, uh, you just scan it with your phone and it gives you like a vegan Christmas pack so you can, oh, right. you know, think Christmas time we should give animals their lives, let, let them live. Yeah. How long have you been vegan for? Seven years. Oh. Yeah. What made you decide to be vegan? I'm against uh, what happens to animals. Oh. Yeah. So I, I'm against animal cruelty. I don't want, I don't think we should cut animals' heads off to eat their bodies. Yeah. I mean, I don't want, uh, dairy cows are all, impregnated have their children taken and then they're, they're slaughtered after they can't produce milk anymore their children are all slaughtered egg laying hens are all slaughtered um that's a turkey i don't think i want that food anymore do you eat turkey at christmas time or anything yeah yeah well they're birds they didn't want to die um these are right? chickens this is the uk animal agriculture this is why i'm vegan Yeah. They're all individuals with personalities and they, um, this is all so people can eat them five minute meal. Yeah. It's over in a moment and that's the animal's entire life. They're raised in horrible farms. This is me rescuing a little chick from a factory farm. Yeah, turkey hugs. That's so cute. Yeah. Aww. Turkeys are beautiful. I rescued one but the TV screen has gone off. I rescued one this Christmas called her Tinsel. Aww. And she's gone to somewhere safe now, but yeah. Good. Yeah, so like there's something called uh, Veganuary. It's, it's every January. Oh, but um, okay. you, can, you can start it whenever you want, so you can yeah. start it now. But uh, if you scan this QR code and you go through the, the download pack, Veganuary and Challenge 22 are there. They help you go vegan. That's cool. Yeah. So when you're vegan, you're just against animal cruelty, but you live yeah. it. You don't just say yeah. it, you know, you're actually... Because when you pay for animal uh, products, like, you're paying the industry to harm the animals. Without you, they don't do it. Yeah. Hey, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Is this your first yeah. vegan turkey? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. Thank Bless you. you. Take care. Merry Christmas. Hey man, how are you? Not so bad, how are you? Good, good. Would you like some food or did you want to know what's going on here? Or? I'll take a bit of both. Okay. Yeah, so we're basically, um, I don't know if you're a vegetarian or a vegan. I'm vegetarian, 
but I'm also lactose intolerant, so I'm basically at eggs. I oh, see so you're an eggitarian. Yeah. An eggitarian. Okay. Yeah, well, so you don't actually contribute to this industry. This is turkeys. Um, yeah. oh, the, oh, this is the Christmas. Uh, yeah, we're trying to, like most turkeys, most of the turkeys that are killed are actually killed around this time of year. Yeah. So we're educating people on the turkey industry. Um, there's a little bit on eggs over here. I'm sure it will come up, but you probably know a bit about the egg industry, yeah. do you? Yeah. Uh, are you vegetarian for ethics? A bit of ethics, bit of cost, bit of health. But okay. The whole kind of thing. It's. So you eat eggs for health? I, yeah, they're not bad for you, and I'm not gonna lie, I like them. It's, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's probably... obviously like it is, there's there's a lot of bad practices in the industry. So yeah, um, where I'm from, I'm from Cumbria, and up there, obviously, it's a different beast. You can buy eggs from a farm two two minutes like oh, really? two minutes down the road, and yeah, like. And where do they get their chicks from? Uh, they have them. It, so they have their own chicks. Yeah, yeah, they'll they'll have chicks and like one or two roosters. And it, obviously so they have their own hens it, and their, their, yeah, their yeah. roosters will, ins, will inseminate their hens yeah, yeah. and then they'll give them eggs that they incubate themselves and yeah, then that's how much. they have hens that, are you sure? Yeah. Um, because most, most... It's a lot of, it's a lot of like little family things and that. Okay. Basically. It's not, okay. up there obviously it's a different beast. Down here if I'm buying eggs it's like... Yeah, well it, a, a lot of people lot. are getting their, their egg laying hens from hatcheries, local hatcheries yeah. who macerate the males um, because... They just can't do anything with the roosters. I yeah. mean, the roosters, they create a nuisance, so they're a lot of the time culling them off. So I want to know what happens to the roosters on the if they're incubating the eggs and they hatch into male and female, what happens to those roosters? I, to be honest, I don't think they incubate the egg. I think they incubate enough eggs to keep a, to keep the hens that they've got, hmm. and then... So you're saying you get macerator-free eggs? I'm not saying, well, macerator, yeah, maybe okay. not cruelty-free. So what happens to the hens when they can't produce eggs for that farmer anymore? They probably do kill them and sell them as meat or eat yeah. them, but... Okay, so you're supporting the killing of the, the hens? That, and not the maceration on, that's, of them? That's... that's well, yeah. well, well, I was just I trying mean, to find out about... Like, the, the, I, I don't... Because specific eggs have specific ethical consequences, so I'm trying okay. to find out what the specific... Because you could say, well, I have my own backyard egg I hens. Mean, yeah, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to say that they don't then kill off the hens, but it's a far... It's, it's common practice, yeah. yeah. It's a far less kind of intense on the animal way of doing it. I'm sure there are there, there are less, there are less cruel ways yeah. of doing something that's cruel. Um, um, I mean, yeah, obviously that's not, oh God. Yeah, uh, what's yeah the matter? That's, that's heavy in the back. Uh, where, yeah. where, oh there, oh so yeah, that's yeah, a dairy yeah, industry. Yeah, I just glanced up and it was like, whoa. So you don't drink lactose free dairy or anything? No, I mean, it's no point. Yeah. Um, it was like. Hey, go on brother, you okay? Do, do you want some food, man? Food? Yeah, we're making these uh, no turkey oh. roast crowns in a sandwich for you, brother. I made a nice one. Just having a look at these. Yeah, we are, we're just educating. This is the meat, dairy, egg industries in that, eh? Uh, yeah, I know, man. My, fa my father has a big, massive farm over in Ireland. You're probably not happy to hear that, though. Uh, yeah. are you a dairy, is your father a dairy farmer? Or? Both beef and dairy. Beef and dairy, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it is slow on the animals, in it? But it's just part of our history, isn't it, really? Yeah, I get it. Tradi some traditions are a bit unethical though, man, eh? Yeah. No, I should try the vegan food to see what it's like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slaughterhouses, are, they should end. <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah. But this here is, uh, like, if you scan that, you can get a little uh, vegan, like, it shows you where all the vegan stuff is in Tesco's and yeah. Sainsbury's. There's a little cool little, um, like, guide in there for you, bro. Like, you said, you look like you're against animal cruelty, the way you're yeah. just looking at these. This, this is all filmed in the UK, some in Australia, but mostly the UK, and, um, yeah. Are you sure you don't well, want to... Most people just don't realise, like, you just, you can't get food from other places, really, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. People, they, like, when I first went vegan, I was like, what am I going to eat, you know? I was, like, eating heaps of almonds and, like... Oh, I you used to eat beef and all, did you meat and all, For, yeah. for 26 years, man, like, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I was eating... I'd go to the butcher and I'd get him to cut big T-bones with a saw off of a side of a cow, like... And then what made you change your mind on that? Uh, yeah, please, yeah. I felt like a hypocrite, man, because I, if someone touched a dog or hurt an animal in front of me, I'd probably knock them out. Yeah, when I see the Chinese over in China, no, it's, oh, dog, yeah. you know, like you just think that's why I think about the same, like you know what I mean. Like, I'm, I'm next yeah. in line to take on the farm, but I won't do it. Like yeah. moving over here, I just, I just don't like the work itself. I don't like the horn and the calves and all that sort of stuff. I hate it. Like yeah, yeah, and like uh, obviously the male calves, if they're not, it's if you, yeah, that's me with oh, a, no way. that's a rescue calf. Oh man. At a sanctuary, so a lot of vegans they take animals in and look after them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So they rescue them from slaughter. I rescued a turkey the other night um, from being. They like, if we stopped eating all like say animals all around the world, would there still be enough food for the whole population? Do you reckon? 
There'd be more. There'd be more because um, right now, currently, we're growing enough food to feed probably 10 million people, uh, 10 billion people. But you know, we're growing all these crops, and a lot of the crops that we could otherwise eat are being fed to the cows and the chickens and the soya. You know, like um, a lot of the corn and the oats and the um, barley. Well, I know, like, uh, I know, like 86% of the farmland is used for animal agriculture. So we could free up a bunch of farmland. I think about 75% yeah, of yeah. the farmland you could free up. Yeah, so, exactly, yeah. yeah you th if you think about eating the plants directly, it's a more efficient way than just growing all these crops, growing, chopping down all these trees, giving these yeah. cows all this grazing land. Yeah. It's just, yeah. Nah, fair play to you though, keep it going, man. Yeah. Oh, no worries, brother. Good talking to you, man, eh? Um, I, my fam I've got family out in the Philippines and they're very traditional out there. When I was younger, it's like a rite of passage thing that you kill an animal and that family eats it. And I've done that. And that's one of the reasons I turned vegetarian. It's like, I can't do that. Yeah. I, I can't like, it, it sucked um, yeah it's against your nature yeah it really is and it's the detachment i think yeah and obviously that's what you guys are trying to do here is reconnect people to what they're doing yeah yeah, yeah and like if you had to witness the egg laying hens that are going to the slaughterhouse um or having their head cut off on the farm that you buy your eggs from yeah let's just say I'd we'll give you the eggs but you have to kill these spent egg laying hens um for us would yeah. you do it would you go and buy the eggs probably not so yeah you've got me there yeah, it's the yeah. same thing, dude. Yeah. But you're just, you're just second hand. It's like, okay, I'll pay a hitman to shoot you in the face. We're both responsible. You're paying a hitman to, to cull these hens off when yeah. they don't produce eggs. If like, anything, I'm worse because I won't go and do it myself. <laughs> but now you, you've, disconnected from, you've yeah. disconnected from the backyard eggs. Yeah. And then I'd also ask you do, you, do you eat eggs outside of your house when you go to a restaurant? Is, is there eggs in the ingredients that you overlook because you're already eating eggs? I, I wouldn't. I, I probably would, but I yeah. don't often. So you don't look for the, the label and go, oh, no, these don't have backyard eggs in them. I'm not going to eat it. Because a lot of egg eaters, they, they they eat backyard eggs at home, but when they go out, they're eating eggs everywhere else. Yeah, and obviously those are factory eggs, yeah. Yeah, yeah and again, this is it's the disconnect thing. The more steps you can put between it, the more you can kind of absorb yourself, isn't it? All right. Well, I saved this turkey. This is tinsel. Tinsel, For yeah. Christmas, just recently. So is, is this your... Do you have it as a pet now, or...? She's, she's had to go away to be safe because humans will try to kill her. She's safe now, though. Fair enough. Yeah. Right. Yeah, no worries. You've, uh, you're a vegan now. You've given me a lot of to think about that. Well, if you're a vegan, you're not a hypocrite. You're consistent. As consistent as you can be in a world like this. Fair enough, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, I've, I've got some to think about for sure. Cheers, mate. Bless you, my friend. Take care. This is what it is. You find them in Tesco's. Uh, a vegan turkey. Yeah, so we don't want animals to be yeah, killed, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. No, nah, because um, like there's uh, da the dairy industry, like with cows and that, they slaughter them all and they, yeah. they take their kids away, they kill the boys on the farm. It's a uh, oh, cruel industry, man, eh? So no eggs and no milk well, for... It is a cruel industry. I don't have anything... Of, I get what you're saying. The thing yeah. is, that meat's still on the shelves. And if, uh, if, 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 if everyone would stop eating meat, I would stop eating meat, but... You know, unfortunately, I get your cause, but it's not going to... Let's got to be realis realistic Yeah, about I know what you're saying. Happen, but, like, see, but me, I, as an individual, I believe that all of our choices have power. Yeah. So, like, if you stop I, I harming... I get the point. If, if you stop eating it, then you're contributing. The thing is, um, a thousand people could stop eating meat today, and it won't change a single dime. Well, I don't no, know if that's I, true, because you know, now they've got a bunch of vegan options on the shelves because there's yeah. a demand. Yeah. So when you shift demand... You're opening up the door for more vegan options, you know, because now Tesco's have got a whole new range and so demand does matter. I, I do get what you mean. I, I, so let's just say 10 million of it. What about this, if... This what if, life would be a lot better if we didn't have to kill animals because animals shouldn't be slaughtered. We don't have we, to. We don't not, have not, to. They should, now and again, when they're old, when they're old, we, you know... Now oh, you mean euthanise them if they're suffering well, maybe, when, but... When they're 12 years old, 14, 15 and they're on the way out or whatever their age is, Cows, and, uh, 25. You, know, uh, you can treat yourself and have a meal, but uh, that that mul that mass uh, that mass uh, killing. Yeah, I don't agree with that, but unfortunately, that's just the way the world is. I I've not made it like that. That's just the way it is. And yeah, but it doesn't have to be that way, brother. You know it, what I mean? Yeah, it doesn't have to be that way, but it always will be, mate. Yeah, it, for you, I understand. I get your cause, but for you to say that it it could it can change if we all change. It can change. You know, human slavery used to be a thing. It used to, and you mate, know how long it took mate, them. To mate, I, I love veganism to death. I love the idea of it, but the truth is, it will never change. There will always be meat on the shelves, and you know what? But you could change. Eat. You could change, her. Huh? I mean, you might say that the, the world will never change, but you could. You've, you've got the power to change right now. 
Well, I, I, I'm just thinking about my vitamins, mate. I, 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 don't, I don't go to the shop going, oh, give me meat, give me beef, because I love eating I'll get enough vitamins, dude. I, I, I'm just thinking about my meat. I, I eat a lot what of What vitamins turkey. are you worried about? Uh, well, I eat a lot of turkey, because it's got a lot of... Um, what are you worried about? Tell me what you're worried about. I'll see if we can get a plant form of it. Yeah, well, I eat a lot of turkey. I, I love turkey. What do you think's in turkey? What do you think's in turkey that uh, you can't get from plants? It's got um, a lot of uh, what's, what's that? Amino acids. Amino acids. That's the. One. Oh well, you, amino, amino acids, acids are found in plants, so yeah. all non-essential amino acids come from plants first. Yeah, well, I eat a lot of tofu. I do eat tofu. Yeah. So, but well, I this this is this is uh, turkeyless eat, turkey. I do eat lamb. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm sure it's good. Yeah. But I, I know what you're if saying. You oh, compared look. that to real turkey. Can I, uh, can I tell no you? No doubt. I think turkey would have more vitamins. I don't understand what you're saying. We shouldn't be killing turkeys. You know, we but still. If that turkey's on the shelf. It's already dead. I didn't kill it. But when you pay so. for it, you're paying that supply chain. You're putting money yeah, into the supply okay. chain. You're, you're, you know what I'm hey, saying? What you're missing. I, I understand what you're saying. I don't understand. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not trying to be funny. I don't understand. It's not called demand and supply. It's called supply and demand for a reason. Well, let's just say we educated yeah. enough people. They didn't. Yeah. They thought they didn't need meat to survive. Okay, because you don't. I've been vegan yeah. seven years, and then. They those million people take all their money out of the animal abusing industries and put it all in plant-based industries. Yeah. What are they going to supply more of? Yeah, but this is a pipe dream, man. I'm talking about. It's already charity. happening, brother. It's already happening. It's already happening. I know. I, I, Do you know how many vegans there are over here? Heaps. It's it's weird. It's amazing. But There's amazing we have, we food brands. Talk about reality. Yeah. I, I, don't, I understand one day I hope it comes. I really do, but for right now it's just not true. The truth is, there's loads of meat on the shelves, and if you don't buy it, it's going to go to waste. But if it goes to waste, right, and then the next year they won't breed as many animals, and that's how the supply chain st like mitigates and starts yeah, to but fade that, off. That's, that's me, one person, because I'm sensitive to the issue. But there's a lot. There's, there's seven billion other people. If they had that attitude, not, it would never change anything. They're not sensitive to the attitude. No, but there's. The then let's just say there's. 30% of people who are. 30% is a lot of the population. Mate, you're dreaming. 30%, try, try 2%. I could ask nearly every person 30%. here. 30%. If I ask you if you're against animal cruelty. 30%. Cru do you, know how, many, you put on it, fine, do you know how many people say I'm against animal cruelty? Nearly every single person I meet. Yeah, but they're not really because they still eat it. No, but in principle, like yeah, in there. In principle, they, they are. are. But what it is, when they eat that meat, they, they've not killed it. So most they're people are against it. animal cruelty. It's just about reaching out to them and get them to act in cons look, act look, in alignment look, with the, that. The animals are victims, and the person that eats the meat, most of the people that eat the meat are the victims as well. The, 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 uh, the perpetrators are the, uh, is, is the industry that uh, create, creates the situation. I, well, they're not the victims the same way the, the pig is the victim. No, <laughs> you not know. in that sense, but you what know. I'm saying is, uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Do you want to take some cakes as well, my friend? No, Are you I'll, sure? I'll, no. We've got heaps of them there. Eh? Yeah, go on then. Uh, but, um, hey, brother. All I'm saying is, um, you know, um, in, in a chaotic situation, there's always victims. And I'm not saying that because we eat the meat, we're victims. What I'm saying is, uh, I, I know I shouldn't be, I, I shouldn't, slaughter, the slaughter of animals is wrong. I do understand that because I'm intellectual, but there's a lot of people that are not, and they say, oh, whatever, I see, yeah, yeah I get it. They don't give a shit. Which is why I only want to focus on you. So you've yeah, got the power in I'm your hands. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Anyway, nice Maybe. to meet you, man. Really Simon, nice to meet you too, man. Simon, yeah. Joey, man, take care, brother. How you going, brother? Do you, like the, do you want to try some of the turkey? The no turkey turkey. Vegan too, then. Yeah, are you a vegan? Uh, I'm not vegan, I'm not vegetarian either, but I do try and limit the amount of meat that I eat. I do, yeah? So, sorry, I'm asking, so. Why do you try to limit it? Uh, more, more so for the environment, and the, the kind of, it sounds kind of sad to say, but it's more so for the environment than the animals. Oh, really? Like, I'm not against, I'm not against, like, obviously, I love animals and like, protecting the ecosystem and everything, but like, I feel like the environment is a more pressing issue. Oh, really? Like, they both, they both have pressing issues. What's a more pressing, but, what's a more press pressing issue for? This bird here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I've got nothing to say to that. Like, it's not acceptable. Okay. And you know, a, a great analogy that I use, I mean, it's kind of a controversial analogy, but like, imagine if we abolished slavery because the slave ships were bad for the environment. <laughs> what do you think of that? That's my word. I wouldn't say that's vegan, though. Yeah. Where did you get it from? This is from Tesco. This is a uh, Wicked Kitchen. That's proper good, you know. Yeah. So my partner's vegetarian. Is she? So I try and uh, I eat a lot of vegetarian food yeah. because of that. Okay. And I enjoy it sometimes. Like I think it's it's definitely. Well, yeah, we don't advocate for vegetarianism because of the egg and dairy industries are horrific, and we're like a vegan is is more of an all encompassing philosophy against the cruelty, exploitation, and abuse of animals. You know what I mean? Uh, vegetarianism is a diet where you don't eat meat. Basically, it's a little bit different. Um, yeah, yeah. Of 
So we feel like it, to be consistent, like if you're against the meat industry because it's cruel, if you're against, you, then, then you also you're against the, 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 the egg and dairy industries this, and the fur this industry. Does extend to things like leather? Sorry, Brett? Materials that come from animals? Yeah, yeah, like just leather's the skin that was torn off of a dead cow that was slaughtered in a slaughterhouse. So like, yeah, of course. This is well nice. Yeah, I'm glad you like it. it. Yeah. I need to get some of those. It's my Christmas dinner. Yeah, you can take this too. This is a little pamphlet that you can take to there. I, I, I can take this. Yeah, you can take it and you can scan that and you can download I'm a pack. I'm definitely trying. I'm definitely trying to like incorporate mm. a more plant-based approach to my diet. It's, yeah. Like, it's definitely something that I'm trying to do. In, in this download pack, you, there's something called Challenge 22 or Veganuary. They're both like vegan sort of helper guides and they, they give you like a little bit of guidance on new vegans. Veganuary is coming up as well in the new year, so that might be something to look at. Like but we're trying to help the turkeys now. Like we, Christmas time, a lot of turkeys are slaughtered. Millions and millions of turkeys. So, so. You're obviously very passionate about animal welfare. R animal rights. Animal rights. Yeah. What do you think that comes from then, on a personal level? It's just something that yeah, I mean, I wouldn't want a lot of experience but, with animals. Or no, 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 like, but I, just like oh, actually, I'm an ex-gang member, so like really? I used to be. I used to lack a bit of compassion. I used to be in violent gangs and things like that. But like, I, had, I got sober from drugs and all of this about seven like years ago. Seems and good. yeah, and then I um, I used to, th I just felt like a hypocrite because I was against you know cruelty to dogs and dolphins and whales. And then I had a steak on my plate, and I just felt like, I don't know. I just thought yeah. like they don't deserve to be treated like no, nothing, you know, right, like, yeah. Right. And obviously animals can't, they can't, they don't speak our language. They can't sort of voice, they can't form a coalition and protect themselves. Mm -hmm. They need like, it's like children. They can't protect themselves from adults. Mm -hmm. These animals can't protect themselves from yeah. human beings. They're, they're defenseless. Yeah, I can't disagree with you. Like everything yeah. you're saying is absolutely right. Like, yeah. So like a turkey, like if you see, if it's, turkeys are really helpless animals. They've got wings. They can't fly away from you. Yes. Um, so sh human beings can basically do what they want to them and they can't fight back. Mm -hmm. So this is why the, I speak up for them, you know what I mean? I try to be a voice for them and, yeah. Yeah, I think you're doing a great thing there. Like, we ask people to be accountable for the animals that go to the slaughterhouse on their behalf. That's what, 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 would make, that's what made me change because when people disconnect and say, this isn't my fault, this is, this is the industry's fault, they're like c sort of cutting themselves out from the process. The, the, without you, without creating the demand for these places. If there's no market, then there's no, exactly. yeah. if there's no market for it, then there's no yeah. profit, then there's no yeah. business. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, I definitely agree with it. Like, do you ever find that you have to substitute things in your diet, like iron deficiency or anything, or is that just a myth? Or, you know? Yeah, so like if you're focusing on just processed food, <laughs> then you're gonna have run into yeah, yeah. issues later on, but anyone, yeah, yeah. anyone just does that. So you should be eating lots of fruits and vegetables yeah. and whole grains and you're gonna be pretty good if you have a balanced diet. So yeah. nuts and seeds, uh, flax seed for omegas. Um, lentils. Yeah, uh, lentils are amazing. More fiber, more nutrients. You're gonna, if you're eating more plants, you're gonna get more nutrients. As well, why people do it. It's definitely the right part. So. Yeah, and there's uh, no cholesterol in a plant-based diet. That was pretty good, I guess. I'm definitely gonna pick some of that up. For yeah, oh, it's, it's good. lovely. Cheers, yeah, it's man. good, man. I think you're doing a great thing. Bless you, mate. Yeah, I appreciate it. Hey, take care. Holy shit, dude, that's hell dangerous, man. No worries. And let's just say there was no chickens and pigs and fish to feed your cat. You wouldn't go out and shoot cats to feed your cat because you like cats, you know what I mean? So why do, why do we kill other animals to feed our house animals?